Hi everyone, it is that time again for my winter outlook. Lots of things to discuss. I've got 20 items in the outlook again this year, and I'm going to show you just a few things that I look at in doing the winter outlook. If you want to learn more about this, you can go to the website. There'll be a ton of information, but we look at snow cover all across the Rockies, the Northern Plains, up across Canada, up towards Alaska, all the way to the North Pole, up around Greenland, places like that. That's important because as air masses come across the snowpack, they will or will not be modified based on how much snow is off to the north. So snowpack to the north, one of the many things that we look at. The sun, yes, the sun, solar activity. And as you can see way down here, we're at a solar minimum. We haven't been there since about 08, about 11 years. So we are the solar men in the uh, website version. You'll see why that's important to us. And of course, uh, temperatures in the ocean are vitally important. Off the eastern seaboard, the Gulf of Mexico, up around uh, Greenland, places like that. Very important when you get down into the tropical Pacific, where right now it's cooler near South America. It's warmer in the Central Pacific. That's important, the configuration of that. I even look all the way to the Indian Ocean, where it's warmer now to the west than it is in the eastern portion of the Indian Ocean. And a big, big thing is the cool water here and the warm water up here in the Gulf of Alaska and the North Pacific. So those are just some of the things that we look at. And then I come up with years that are, that are very similar. And this is what it looks like right now, 2019, uh, the entire globe looking at the sea surface temperatures. And this is what it looked like in 2014. That's one of my strong analog years, 2014. So again, that is something very important to the outlook. So here we go. First of all, December, I think, is going to be the warmest compared to average. Now, I'm not necessarily saying December is going to be warmer than normal. I think it'll be the warmest compared to average of the three winter months. I don't think a white Christmas this year, and the reason for that I think that we're going to see temperatures warm some in December where it wouldn't be favorable for a white Christmas. So it does not look likely this year to me. I think we're going to see more snow than we've seen the last four winters. I also think it's going to be colder than the last four winters. So this could be the, if you're a winter lover, this could be the best winter we've had in a few years. So some good news for you there. This one's kind of a big deal. I think we'll see at least two record or near record low temperatures. When I looked at my analog years, record lows were very common. Record highs were not. I don't think that the record highs is going to be a big issue. And look at this. The coldest part of the winter, I think, will be the second half. I think that's because in December, I think we'll get you a little break before we reload. And the cold really comes on as we head into January and even into February. I even think we could see one temperature that hits 10 below or lower. That's not real, real common in this area. So I think we got plenty of cold days ahead as we head through this winter season. This one is a little concerning. In a lot of my analog years, there was an increased risk of ice. So I think there's an increased risk this year. Could even be a fairly significant event. Uh, I, we haven't seen much of that in the last few winters. I think, look out, this could be a winter where ice could be a problem. Uh, more windy days than we would normally see and more than we had last winter. I think the storm track will be near this area, which will include a lot of wind. Of course, that means cold with the wind chills in the area. Smaller temperature swings than last winter. Not that we aren't going to have some wild temperature swings, but that was a large temperature, temperature swing last year. I think it will be less than that for this winter. This we have not seen in a while. A couple of strong to severe thunderstorm outbreaks. And I think that's because we're going to see a fluctuation. We're going to warm up some, I think, in December, turning cold. A storm track near this area. That then leads itself to severe thunderstorms. Now, I think once we hit January, the cold locks in. January temperatures I'm forecasting to be below normal. February also below normal. That's why I think the second half of the winter is going to turn out to be the coldest part of the winter. More sub-zero days than normal, at least five of those. And again, a couple of those could be record or near record cold nights in the area. I think we continue with the cold trend right into March. I do not think this is a quick start to spring. As we get into next spring, I think March will have temperatures below normal and we'll still have some snow left over in March. So I wouldn't look for a quick uh, end to the winter. So it's going to be one of those probably you're going to hope it's over and it just keeps lingering into March. So here are the big things. Uh, the temperatures I forecast will be below normal. If that's the case, this will be the first time in five years the temperatures have been below normal. My forecast is 29 inches, 31 is normal. I think precipitation will be below normal, but not by a lot. Just under nine is normal. I'm forecasting eight. That is melted snow and rain. And snow, a lot of people pay attention to this one. I'm forecasting above normal snowfall, normal 16 and a half inches. I think we'll see 19 inches. So if you like winter weather, I think this is going to be your winter here in the valley. Don't forget to go to mywabashvalley.com. A lot of charts and graphs 
information on there, analog years, years that I thought were similar to this one. Those will all be found at there at that site and also a printable version of the Outlook. And a thanks to all of our sponsors that you see on the screen there. They will have a brochure and eye scrapers while they last. The brochure has additional weather information in it as well. So get ready. The coldest and the snowiest winter, I think, in five years. And if you like winter weather, this is probably going to be a winter for you.